Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about a group of four muscles that are known as the suboccipital muscles which you can see now on the image. We're looking at a posterior view of the neck and also your head of course you see here and this is where the suboccipital muscles are located just below this bone here which is known as the occipital bone hence the name suboccipital muscles so in anatomy you try to keep things very simple and without keeping you waiting let's first list these four muscles before we talk about their origins insertions and also innervation and functions associated to the suboccipital muscles there are two, there are the rectus capitis posterior minor and then the major one, so the rectus capitis posterior major. There are other two which have similar names, the obliquus capitis inferior and then the superior one. Before we talk about these muscles, I want to make a clear point here that this is the easiest part of the tutorial, which is to know that the innervation of these four muscles will be provided by these nerves that you see here highlighted in green on this image. These are known as the their posterior branches of the first spinal nerve, which you also see here on this image. And keep in mind that we're looking at a posterior view of the suboccipital region. These nerves are then the suboccipital nerves. And let's start with the very first one on the list, these two that you see here. This is the rectus capitis posterior minor. This one arises by a narrow pointed tendon from the tubercle on the posterior arch of this bone here, the atlas, the first cervical vertebra. And then it goes all the way to insert on the medial part of the inferior nuchal line of the occipital bone that I talked about and the surface between it and the foramen magnum and also takes some attachment to the spinal dura mater. Now a quick word on the different actions or functions associated to the rectus capitis posterior minor. Now this, this muscle will be able to then perform a minor degree of extension of the head at the neck. We're now ready to move on to the next one that you see here highlighted in green. This one is the rectus capitis posterior major and you have one on each side so two muscles as you can see here. This muscle will be then arising by a pointed tendon as well from the spinous process of the axis this time the second cervical vertebra. And then goes all the way to insert on the lateral part of the inferior nuchal line, as you can see here, of the occipital bone and the surface of the bone immediately below the line. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.